Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Easter Thursday Mass here at St. Henry Catholic Church in Gresham, Oregon. My name is Father Charles Zock, and I'm assisted at the altar by Deacon Larry Lumina. Let us begin in song with At the Lamb's High Feast. At the Lamb's High Feast we sing Praise to our victorious King. He has washed us in the tide, flowing from his open side. Praise we him whose love divine gives his sacred blood for wine, gives his body for the feast. Christ the victim, Christ the priest. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather this Easter week to recall God's great love for his people by sending his Son, we call to mind that the Lord came also to bring forgiveness for our sins as we cry out, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. O oh God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Now 
I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouths of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted that your sins might be wiped away and that the Lord may grant you time of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration of which God spoke through the mouths of the holy prophets of old. For Moses said, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may see, say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the prophet. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days. You are the children of the prophets and the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, in your offspring all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first, God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you away from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> our, O oh Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O oh Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O oh Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him? Or the son of man that you should care for him? O oh Lord, our God, how wonderful your name over all the earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands putting all things under his feet. O oh Lord, our God, how wonderful your name over all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims in the paths of the sea. O oh Lord, our God, how wonderful your name over all the earth. Because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. 
But as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are the witnesses of these things. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On a personal note, one of the things I truly love about the Easter season is the readings from the Acts of the Apostles, showing how our early church formed and the ministries of St. Peter's and St. Paul developed. And we see that really clearly here today. Peter goes from someone hiding in the upper room to now curing people through the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene. But our gospel reading today, slightly different story. Can you imagine, the apostles are still kind of puzzled at what's going on. They're still talking about what had happened, and Jesus appears out of nowhere. And you know, this could be dismissed as a simple people in the past not highly educated, maybe believing in all kinds of odd stuff. But when you read these Gospels, for example, the Gospel of John, you get an understanding that these were not simple rubes that just bounced off a turnip truck. They were highly intelligent people that had thoughts of ghosts, had thoughts of delusions, knew that what what those might occur. But Jesus dispels that almost instantly with the great, great words. That could be a greeting for any of us to give to anybody. Peace be with you. But he knows they have to have proof. As I would probably want. And maybe you. Shows him his hands and his feet and actually has him touch him. But what I find even more astounding and I just didn't quite understand this. Do you have anything to eat? Right? Isn't that kind of an odd thing to say? But if you want people to understand that you were just resurrected from the dead, it probably would take more than just touching him, seeing him. He had to eat. So that's a very important piece. Because he is not a ghost. He is not an illusion. He is not a figment of their imagination. He is real and in front of them. And what has he come to offer? Peace, repentance, and the forgiveness of sin. It's a simple formula. And in our very intelligent modern age, we sometimes forget that simple sometimes is the best. Peace and the forgiveness of sins. If we repent, we hear it over and over and over and over again. If we repent, our sins are forgiven. Now, we have a formula for doing that, of course, in the church. But we sometimes forget that. And we cannot discount these early church people and the ancients as being unintelligent unintelligent, I guess you could say, cave dwellers. And I don't even think now, after studying some of the ancient scriptures and whatnot, that even go way, way, way back. They were not an unintelligent people. And so this is a very important scene for the development of the church, even though this comes from Luke, which of course is where the Acts come from. But it's important for us to note, Jesus appears several times to them. 
And you can see when we look back in the Acts of the Apostles, they're getting empowered. They're gaining uh, strength. They're gaining that, that inner drive to preach this good news, to preach the forgiveness of sins. Because had they not, we would not be sitting here this morning. Lord God, we draw our prayers today from Acts 3, Peter addressing the people after he healed a man crippled. So we first of all pray for a special devotion that we should have to the Hebrew scriptures. As Peter addressed, he said, it was the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob who sent his son who rose from the dead, we pray to the Lord. As Peter addressed those who were, as he says, ignorant at the time of them proclaiming, crucify him, may we recognize that we are to love tenderly and walk humbly with our God, we pray to the Lord. And we pray as Peter addresses, may we be called to repentance and conversion, for we are stored by the blood of the Lamb and Jesus Christ, who was raised from the dead. We make all of these our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Bless us, God. Through this mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. This will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Sisters and brothers, we pray together that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name. For our honor and all the churches. Graciously, be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help from heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation ought all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heights.
You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis, our Pope, and Alexander and Peter, our bishops, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now at the Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And the grace of your Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. the Paschal victim, give thankful praise. Christ ever sinless, his sheep now he saves. Death and life contended in dreadful strife. Death did not hold him, immortal his life. Alleluia! Christ is our risen, the victor, the King. Christians sing his glory with every breath. Sing of his kingdom, victorious or death. Jesus grant us mercy, new life from heaven. Christ ever reigns, Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, His triumph we sing. Christ is our risen, the victor, the Let us pray. Hear, Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ 
our Lord. Amen. One announcement, and I think Deacon Larry also wants to share concerning Friday. Uh, we have a new directive from the governor's office which limits our gathering even more than we had before. So we're down to 25% capacity this weekend, which puts a real crimp onto our gathering in the church and here. So right now we are over capacity starting this weekend. We're down now to having maybe 30 in here at the most, and that holds for the weekend. So I'm just going to suggest to people, also in our outgoing phone messages, if you are at all compromised, stay home and watch it on live stream and receive communion in the parking lot after mass. Uh, we won't turn anyone away, but know that there are some limits. So we're from 300 down to 150 for mass in the church. So that's just the way it is for at least two to three weeks. And we do have food boxes tomorrow afternoon. Um, I'm not advertising necessarily a one o'clock starting work as the trucks have been early for two weeks. And so we've been starting at about 1230. Uh, I don't know from week to week what time the truck will get here, but I know that we've been running out by 140. And so um, please come by, pick up boxes for yourself, for friends, people that, that need it. And uh, we won't say, no, you can only get one. So it's a great box of food. Thank you, Deacon Larry. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Easter triumph, Easter joy. Sin alone can this destroy. From sin's power do thou set free souls newborn, O Lord, in thee. Hymns of glory, songs of praise, Father, unto thee we raise. Risen Lord, all praise to thee with the Spirit ever be.